We've uh, made two videos. One is creating of a custom uh, center part and then the second video was adding parameters to that custom uh, part. Now we want to talk about refreshing or a modification of standard parts. So if you remember we had sensor blocks and I'm just going to place the first one into the assembly and just ground it. Now if you remember all your content center parts are generated and then they go into the location specified by your project file either the default location or if you have configured it to a location mine is going to this folder and then the content center parts so that is being developed in this folder via my project file thing we want to talk about is how to modify an existing custom content center part. Well of course it's going from the editor. So you go into the editor and you go into the family table and we inserted the first one so I'm going to change the length of that from 6 to 5. Hit OK and it updates in the con custom content center part. Say done. Now be sure your assembly is saved and you have a refresh button. This refreshes all standard content center components. Well, a problem it comes up and says they're all up to date, but we know this is not true. Well, that brings up a rule about inventor and custom content center parts. This rule is that if the change you made in the family table is in a column that's not mapped to a inventor I property of any type it will not be seen by inventor so as you can see this one's not being mapped to any property so what I'm going to do I'm gonna go down here at the end I've already added a revision line I'm gonna change this one to B and then as you see it's not mapped either but I could map that to revision in uh, the part but I'm not going to I'm just gonna go over here and add it to the family designation so I'll right click here, properties, and after this I'm going to put an and symbol and I'm going to pick up the revision and say OK. It updates that column. I need to do that also for this one, excuse me, this one, and symbol and then pick up revision. That's the file name. Okay. Now that one didn't work, so I'm going to just try it again. I missed a revision. Okay, there we go. So that's been updated. I'll hit OK. Now that modified the file name, which is an inventor I property. So I go back, be sure again it's saved, and then if I hit refresh, you see it comes up and says it's at a date. So the rule is if your change in the family table is not going to an I property of any type, then it will not see, the refresh will not see it. Now in the refresh thing, if you hit refresh, it will come up and you have a log. If you'd like to look at the log, it tells you about it. It was successful. And as soon as you leave the box, the model will change, will update. Let's say another scenario. That particular model, revision B, is no longer to be updated or no longer to be used past this particular uh, instance. So what you do, you go into the manage, go into your editor, go into your family table and you click on the one you want to make it unavailable for any future use and suppress it, suppress that row. Say OK, it updates, refresh, done. Now when you go and you try to place that particular one, you'll see it's missing. See the 90,000 series is missing. So unless someone goes back to the actual content center develop library, that part will never be used again. But it's always here to support past assemblies. So 
That's very important for limiting the use of one you don't want to ever insert again.